this a little. Isaiah is here. Yay. That boy. Nine pounds. Nine pounds. It's three something in the morning. I'm tired. I'm high. And then gave her some more tabs and I gotta go get something to eat. Boy got his eyes open. Close your eyes, Isaiah. Isaiah. You know his name. Isaiah. Hmm. Oh, that was just a little snippet. Be back with more. Later. This medicine? Yeah. I mean, I don't He won't wake up so he can eat. This is one of the hardest sleeping children that I have. One of the hardest sleeping children. I didn't even get to record when I was contracting or my labor because once again my labor was fast. I could have had him um what's today the fourteenth? I could have had him on the thirteenth, but I had to wait on my doctor. Yeah. This is the result. Isaiah Ruben. I know y'all looking like why she look like that. They gave me some medicine. I had to get stitches. Felt like 15 stitches. I don't know how many I got, but it felt like 15. Y'all, I'm fighting to stay up. Somebody already knocked out. We are dead to the world. He is truly his father's son. This was a journey. I'm just glad it's over. Mm mm mm. I am day two in the hospital after having Isaiah. Um, I underwent a little surgery, a small minor procedure. And behind it, I got um, an anesthesia. And it so hurt so bad, I do not recommend being put to sleep. I have the opportunity to not be put to sleep, but I wanted to be put to sleep because that was my first time doing anything like that. I don't recommend being put to sleep. I would just say do the one where it's basically like the epidural, so to speak. Um, they just numb everything. I wish I would have done that because now I am suffering. Um, you know the little thing that's, you know, hangs in the back of your throat? It's too long. And it hurts. Every time I cough, I eat. It hurts like crazy, but um, yeah, my surgery procedure was a success. Um, currently waiting for Isaiah Rubin to come back. Um, the kids are with their Mima, my 
husband is at the house taking care of some things before we get the kids back to the house and we start our new life with the new love, our new baby. All right. So I want to know. Okay, this is day three. This is our last day at the hospital. We're going home today. Um, but I want to know why nobody didn't tell me when you go get this anesthesia. They tell you, basically, they make you imagine a place that you want to be. And when you wake up, you ain't at the place that you was imagining that you wanted to be. Like, why nobody ain't tell me that? Because this lady, I didn't sit here and cry because this is my first procedure. I, I'm crying because one, my husband isn't there. I don't have nobody to hold my hand. I'm crying. And the lady's like, you ever been on vacation? I said, no, ma'am. So she's like, okay, well, do you like going to the beach? So I said, yes, ma'am. Well, we're going to the beach. Next thing I know, I'm... And then I wake up. I'm like, wait a minute. We ain't at the beach. What's this? So, man, like, I guess, I don't know, my husband didn't record. He was supposed to record when I came back in the room on the anesthesia, but he was tired himself, which he's falling asleep now, rocking Isaiah, little fat shelf, day over there, but, yeah, my visit here at Orange Park Medical Center was everything. Um, I'm not having no more kids, um, but I recommend that if you do not, if you are pregnant and you want to have the best experience with your pregnancy, um, delivery-wise, make sure you come here. Now, I'm going to tell you guys about my... Um, when I first came in, um, I didn't have a long labor, but I knew when I was getting ready to go into labor. As a matter of fact, I told Marcellus, I said, it was like 10 or 11 something at night. I called him. He's at work. I'm like, I'm going into labor because I kept pooping and I had mild contracting, but they weren't like. Uh, 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 like, ready for me to, you know, have the baby. So, eventually, you know, they started, they start really getting intensifying. I'm like, oh, God, I'm about to have this baby. So, huh? So, now, you know, we're, we, my grandmother comes and get the kids, my grandmother comes and get the kids. Okay, we're on our way to the hospital. To get here, I have to wait for my doctor to get here, which is Dr. Coventry. I love her. Um, I have to wait for her to get here, right? So I'm still not, I'm in labor, but I'm not having the baby yet. So they break my water. Now it's time to push. Y'all ever heard the song, your love is the never ending well, and it'll never one drop well. This push, well, this baby was a never ending push, and it would not run dry. I'm telling you, I was pushing this baby and pushing this baby. I'm like, well, when he going to come? I'm looking at them like, K -k -k baby, when the baby going to come? I said, I can't do it no more. But my the lady on the left hand side of me, like I'm all jokes aside, y'all. I seriously felt like I could not do it anymore because he was not coming fast enough for me. But all of my pregnancies, their delivery is fast. Um, but this delivery was quick, but I had to push a little bit more. So that's what was you know the hold up with me. And um, I was like, I can't. I looked this lady in her eyes. I said, I can't do it no more. 
And she say, push, baby, push. She made me grab my leg. And Marcellus was on the other side of me. He looking, because I don't know what's going through his head. He just like, I can't, I just couldn't do it with him. <laughs> so I'm pushing. And next thing you know, I'm screaming. And then, boom, I say, that baby weighed nine pounds, Jesus, nine pounds. That's my biggest child, nine pounds. I mm -mm, I don't know if I do it. I won't. I won't do it again. I'm not gonna do it again. I can't do it again. Cause that's just mm -mm, that ain't the plan of God for my life. Um. But yeah, this was an experience, man. Um, it was a wonderful experience, but it's something I'm not willing to do again. However, I love I love him, but I, I wouldn't do it again. Mm-mm. No, no, no. But, man, that, that, ooh, Jesus help me, Lord, just to think about it. And, y'all, I got stitches. I got stitches. And then on top of that, I'm feeling all the pain from when I had to I had to do the anesthesia. I got pain all right here. My my throat hurting. I gotta take medicine for that. I gotta take medicine for three different pains. Like I don't wish this on nobody, y'all. I'm talking right now because I'm medicated. But if I wasn't medicated, I wouldn't be doing this video. I'm telling you. For real. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you can, like, share, subscribe to the Hunter Tribe.